Hello everyone and welcome back into my kitchen. Today's recipe is going to be simple but it's going to be very delicious. So let's do it. Right, so today I'll be making some Persian rice and forgive me my lighting is not so great. I'm recording at night you know how that is. So I have my pan here with water. You just want enough water to cover your rice and I'm going to salt this here. I'm going to say that's about uh, maybe about two teaspoons or so. I'm going to get this on my stove and bring it up to a boil. What I have here is two cups of basmati rice that I actually washed three or four times and it's been soaking in this water here for about 30 minutes. As you can see, it's still a bit cloudy. I'll rinse it again. But I'll bring my water up to a boil, get my rice in there, and I want to cook it, like half cook it. So what I mean by that is when I press on the grains, they don't like smush. They're still holding together. And I would say it would need to cook for about, once, it come, once I put it in there and it comes up to a boil, maybe about eight minutes or so, strain it, and then I'll show you what we'll do next. Okay, so my rice, I just put it in my pan in my pan here, and I'm waiting for it to come up to the boil. And once it comes up to the boil, like I said, I will um, cook it maybe for about six to eight minutes, and then drain most of the water out. Oh, Gloria, you see I'm using your spoon? Thank you. Gloria gave me this authentic Sri Lankan spoon that's made from the shell of a coconut. All right, I'll see you guys in a few. Okay, so this rice is pretty ready to come out. Want you to want, want you to try to see the what it looks like. It's not quite cooked yet. So what I'm gonna do is drain out most of this liquid. I'll come on back. All right, so there's about a half of a cup of the cooking liquid that we had in there initially on the bottom of that, and I have about a tablespoon of oil that I'm going to drizzle over my rice. And I just want to make a few little holes here in my rice just to allow steam to escape. And then I have my, oops, I have my heat here, almost dropped my camera. I have my heat here on very low. And you just want to use a clean uh, cloth. I'm using a um, cheese cloth. And... I'm going to put that over here and just let my rice cook here for maybe another 25 to 30 minutes on low. Okay, I will see you back. So while my rice is finishing up there on the stove, this is the other part of the rice that we're going to be making. What I have here is half a cup of barberries that I cleaned. So I picked through it to look for seeds. There weren't any and I washed it. This is what it looks like. Classic um, Persian ingredient. I bought it on Amazon. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but I have a half a cup. I have two teaspoons of sweetener. You can use sugar, but I'm using sugar-free sweetener. This is allulose. Three tablespoons of butter. I have a little piece of orange peel. Like when I peel an orange, I save the skin and dry it out. And that gives so much flavor to uh, food. And um, like if you're baking or something like that, it gives a really nice flavor. So I'm going to get this on my stove. The other two things that I'll be adding is some saffron, liquid saffron, and a little bit of kirua water or rose water. All right, let me get this on my stove. All right, so my butter is melted. This has been going here for about three minutes on really low. I'm going in with my liquid saffron. About a tablespoon or so. And 
little bit of my rose water. This is pretty pungent. I'm, I'm, I just put in maybe about four or five drops. And I'm just going to let this go on here, maybe for another two minutes or so, and then I'm going to shut it off. And then when our rice is fully cooked, we will mix a couple cups of it into this um, for a nice presentation, okay? All right, guys, so it has been about 35 minutes, and look at how nice and fluffy our rice turned out. So that's our barberry mixture back there. And I'm going to add uh, maybe about a couple of cups and just get it mixed around. And then we will, I'll plate it up the way it's served so you can see what it looks like. the final product so you just serve that uh, sort of bejeweled rice over the regular white basmati oh yeah thank you so much for coming back into my kitchen I sincerely appreciate you and I hope you come back next time when I promise to make another delicious recipe bye